A commercial electrician's secret weapon. Okay, maybe not that secret, but today we are gonna show you one of the most valuable tools that we have in our company. It helps save time, it helps save money, helps save energy, and honestly, we can't live without it. So follow along, we're gonna go out and show you how we use this iToolCo 6K Tugger to help pull some pretty large wire on one of the commercial projects that we're working on. I'm here today with one of my foremen, Tristan, and we have a little project we're working on, and we're gonna use what I think is one of the best tools that helps us save time, money, and energy. What are we working on? Today we are pulling 700 KC mill feeders from this step-down transformer to the 400 amp service in the building behind me. So we're gonna demonstrate how we use this iToolCo 6K Tugger to help us save a lot of time, effort, and honestly do the job a lot safer. Here's our 400 amp service that I was talking about earlier. We got our four inch in the bottom right corner of our panel and we got this string that we're gonna tie this rope to, pull the rope through to the transformer, hook up our wires, hook up the rope to the tugger, and feed our wires in. All right, so Tristan's gonna tie a little Boy Scout knot here. Mm -hmm. From the pull string to the pulling rope. And then one of our boys outside we're going to pull this rope in, this four inch conduit, so that then we can hook up the tugger and get rolling. Get her done. Pull on me! How far is this run, Tristan, roughly? About 80 feet. 80 feet. It's short. It's short. So it'll go it's pretty It's got easy. 490s in it, though. It does have 490s, mm -hmm. and the wire is big. So the first thing we're going to do is phase the wire and if you don't know phasing is just putting colored tape on it so you can identify um, your neutral your hots and your ground ground is usually going to be smaller so that's not a big issue but if you want to roll that wire out I think so. we got there face tape face tape Working? Something like that. Uh, the chains. chains. Uh, it's gonna be really hard on that big wire, I think. Use the chains then. Uh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Alright, so what are you doing, Clayton? Um, stripping this 700. Um, we're trying to make the head a little smaller, so goes in the conduit easier feeds feeds better yeah we gotta we gotta fit four of these 700s and then this ground which is what a number two four. number four we're gonna fit all four of those inside this four inch conduit which four inch is pretty big but when I mean, you're trying to slam four 700s and a number four in it fills up in a, in a hurry so we're gonna strip the ends of the insulation off these wires and uh, it'll make it a little bit easier to build the head so that we can pull through. I got it. So we went through and cut some of these middle strands off so right now we got this chain and we're just going to kind of daisy our feeder wires through each chain and we'll put the ground through one and put some electric electrical tape around it, some duct tape and get her done. Spit on it done. We're going to start setting up the tire, hey? So we've got the uh, iToolCo 6K Tugger here. Um, we use it all the time. Anytime we need to pull feeders in, it's a, it's a great tool that we use. Uh, it's pretty small and versatile. We've, it can fit in a, inside a man basket of a lift. Uh, it's got a little precarious times where you got to pull wire. Um, so I'm going to start pulling these pins, unpacking this little suitcase. Can we Alright, 
take the the head. Let's grab that. So this guy goes up on top. You take one of the pins that you use to hold the thing together. You stick that on, and then you pull these guys out. All right, and then you kind of just drop it into position. This, this head pivots in two locations, obviously here and here. That is so that you can change your pitch if you need. All right, so just by looking at it, I think I've got my pitch right. Um, you just kind of guesstimate at the start. Okay, and then where's the insert? So this insert slides in, it's got a little catch uh, on the back here. So you put it in like this. There's a there's a little dowel on it, as you can see right here. That fits in this uh, hole back here. And then there's two slots here that keep it aligned. And it slides in just like that and it grabs on these two points. And then with these two, you anchor them down. And then you... Uh, you see if you fit where you want to. Make sure to put the rope in there. Yeah, I forgot about it, so we had to take this piece off. Amateur hour. <laughs> Just like that, we are in the conduit here. Uh, ropes in, tugger will drape over the two joints there, so it goes back and wraps around um, whatever spool you're going to tug off of. So this tugger has two different spools, you've got the large spool and then the small spool. The larger spool is the... For the... the large spool is if you want to pull faster but you have a little bit less pulling power. Uh, this, this thing is going to rotate quicker because there's more surface area here to go around. And then this side is your 6K side. So this is if you need to pull heavy. This is your 6K side. And it, it tells you that right here. Alright, now let's go back out. See if the guys have the head put together. And if they do, we can be ready to pull this thing. He's on the phone. That's my job. What is it with everyone being on the phone? But you had all of these, like this, braided all of these. Oh, dude, you might not want this guy. What is that? Yeah, we're. What is that? I'm thinking about. It. <laughs> Don't forget to phase your wire black, folks. <laughs> oh yeah. You gotta phase your red. <laughs> your whatever Clayton just. This got is out white. There. White. And then Ian's got the blue. Make sure you face your black too. We got the head all made up, huh? Uh, yeah, so we got the head here. We got four 700s and one number four all underneath this nice tape mess. Uh, everything's labeled and ready to pull. We're gonna, what do we got them hooked to? We've got them hooked on to chain links here and then onto a swivel. This swivel helps out because the rope can do whatever it needs to and, you know, if you got any experience pulling wire, uh, the wire will shift a little bit and rotate some, and it just helps it so it goes in a little bit better, less resistance. Yep. So this isn't a very long pull. This isn't the prettiest head we've ever made, but uh, we're not going too far, and we think it'll slide through pretty easy, especially after we lube it up with the uh, right ideal, the ideal clear glide. All right, we're looping her up. Alright, it's looking pretty good. <laughs> on the start. Tugger's also up. We're hooked up on the other end. Rope comes down over this first couple uh, joints here, down, and then Clayton's going to use the, the larger spool here, which has a little bit less torque, um, but it'll pull a little bit quicker. And uh, he operates the Tugger off the foot pedal, so he's got that. Quick on off if he needs it. And then Ethan here is going to kind of manage our rope 
and also listen for the guys outside to make sure uh, if they need anything that we're, we're hearing them. So to make this work, we have two guys on the inside running the tugger. Um, it only really takes one to run the tugger, but the other guy kind of manages the rope. And we have the second guy on the phone with one of our guys out here, so that when these guys, if they need to stop, they can yell and get that guy on the phone on the inside to stop. So having some way of communicating is really important when you're doing stuff like this so that you can make sure everyone's being safe and the wire's going in the way you need it to. All right, so it sounds like the head is going to crack it through here. So when that's happening, you got to be a little bit careful because the head of that wire is the largest part and trying to slide in this sleeve, it can sometimes get caught up. So you have to just pay attention to what you're doing and make sure it can come through here okay without getting hung up. Because it can get hung up in a hurry and put a lot of pressure on the target and on your rope if you're not paying attention. All right, so we made a couple adjustments here. Uh, we took our sleeve out and we're just gonna pull the head through uh, without the sleeve inside here because we don't want, that head got caught as it was coming through because it's pretty big. So we're ready to go again. We just have it resting on the panel. So it's gonna apply pressure down on the bottom of the panel and the pipe. So it should be okay, but we're gonna take it slow and make sure it comes out all right. Okay, pull it. When you're putting the rope on here, um, the surface area of the rope contacting the spindle is what grabs. And so the more wraps you do, the more it's going to grab. So if your rope starts slipping, you might have to throw another wrap around it. Obviously you need to make sure you're not over um, torquing your rope or the tugger itself. We're not pulling that hard yet, but we did want to slow it down a little bit. And so he threw quite a few more wraps on here. The other thing you got to make sure is you don't wrap over yourself. So all of these wraps are separated and they're not wrapped over themselves. If, if it wraps over itself, when you let go of the rope to release tension, it won't release the tension because it'll be caught and that can cause a, a dangerous situation. Well, all in all, it went pretty well. We stuck to the 3K side until it got to that point, and then uh, there was a lot more resistance as we pulled up and over. So we went to the 6K and we got it done. Pulled up nicely. We've got extra room to work. We can cut off a lot of this because it's all exposed under here. And here yeah, we go. So, so these feeders are incoming out of that transformer, and they're going to land on the bottom of this main breaker here. This is a 400 amp and uh, 12208 system. So pretty easy all in all, pretty short run, nothing major. Um, these tigers can do a lot more than that. That was pretty weak work for one of these tigers. But how hard would it have been if we tried to pull it by hand? Pretty hard. I could have done it. Ethan could have done it. <laughs> Possible there, I say. Get a couple big apprentices on there and they get it done, huh? Yeah, first we need to get some big apprentices. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this thing, honestly, I mean, if we had tried to pull these by hand, these are 700 aluminums. They're pretty stiff, they're pretty big. And the insulation on them is not very slick. So some insulation on, on THHN um, is slick. I think Simpole has some really slick stuff. This stuff is not very slick. So pulling it by hand, Guaranteed would have been a challenge way harder than what we did here and took it way way longer 
Yeah, all in all, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, from start to pull, when we first kicked this thing on until we got the wire out, 10 minutes probably. Yeah. It makes short work. Yeah. We, we love these tuggers. So doing the prep is half the battle, but you got to do the prep if you're pulling by hand anyway. So. And you can pretty much just let the tugger do on the work. Yeah. When you're on the feeding side, you just got to make sure that that wire is going in. You don't really got to push it at all. Yeah. Yeah. So worked out really well. This thing is the Canon 6K. It's a good tugger. Um, it fits in so many smaller rooms. This room is not very big. Uh, no, seven yeah. feet. Yeah, seven feet. We've got this tugger uh, Maybe. pretty tight here, but it fits. Got the job done well. And I think saved old Tristan a lot of time, huh? Blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not the sweat. You tired? Oh yeah, that was hard work right there. Yeah, that must have. <laughs> so to put this thing away, we gotta get our, our wire head off here, um, get our knuckle and our links back, get the rope spooled up, and we'll get this thing back on the wheels that comes with it. Give it to Ethan. Yeah. Let him recycle it. Tell Ethan that we have to return that plow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On the tear down, we got the cart, the wheels, right behind you, Clayton. Get it back where it belongs. This makes more sense. Right here. Yep. I mean, it locks in. Second to last piece, it just goes on that post down there. Flaps in. And once it's on the post, come through, clip it from falling out. Yeah. And then that one holds it down to the, the cart. Right here. Got it. All right, Derek, wheel it out for us. You're so vascular. All in all, it went pretty good. We got our 700 KC mails with our ground into the four inch conduit from the step down transformer. Sooner than later, we'll be ready to roll on this place. Yes, sir. Saved a lot of time, huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah, it was nice.